Hey guys, wanted to make a sort of newbie, sort of um, solo vulture salvaging video. I've been doing a lot of it during the PTU and I wanted to share some stuff that I've learned. Uh, of course, this could change when it goes live. Uh, if it does, I will leave it in the description below. It's basically how to find the best stuff and what the best stuff is, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. So you kind of have your four main locations. So you have your um, planet locations, like landmark areas, uh, like outposts and whatnot, where you might have NPC ships that have been destroyed or player ships where the players died and the ship just been abandoned. These locations are not great because you can head to that location, which is going to take you time. There's no guarantee that there will actually be ships there. And if there's a ship there, another player might arrive and decide to decide to basically pirate you and destroy you. It's, there's no guarantee of getting salvaged and there's a, re there's a relatively risk of um, being PvP'd. It, it's just not worth your time. I guess the next one would be the belt around Yela. Uh, if you look at Grim Hex, you can see its orbit around the moon. Basically, that's the asteroid belt. So it has the advantages of being close to Grim if you wanted to start there. Or you could go to one of the OM markers and just fly into the belt. And it's relatively close to Orson, so you could sell your salvage once you're done. Uh, but it's near Grim. There's a high chance of getting pirated, maybe. And then you have your sort of... Um, Aeron's Belt, I think is how you pronounce it, which is basically just, if you look at Crusader and its orbit around Stanton, it's just kind of further out of Crusader. Uh, there's plenty of guides now to find it. Uh, the advantages of that is you're not going to get PvP'd, no one's going to find you out there. If you went to relatively close to Crusader, you're not that far away from Orison. The only negative thing I would say about the belt is it doesn't seem to be as dense as the other locations and the one I'm about to talk about. The salvage seems to be a lot further away from one another, but it is, it's kind of a safe place to go if you if you not want to worry about being PvP'd. And then obviously the last one would be the Lagrange points. Um, the Lagrange points have the advantage of there's 20 of them. Uh, if you're over Art Corp, you can do One's ran there, Arkel 1 or Arkel 2, same for Magotech, same for Crusader and Hurston, and you can go back to those capital cities and sell your salvage. Or if you're worried about being PvP'd, you can go to one of the ones that are further out. You still have a chance of being PvP'd, but less of a chance because it's a pain for the PvP'er to go flying all the way out there. You fly around those belts trying to find somebody. It's kind of, it's, it's all kind of up to you how much you want to risk. And personally, I like going to the Lagrange points, but if I was like super worried about my safety, I would probably go the, the belt. I wouldn't go Yela. Yela is, I feel like you've got more chance of getting PvP, but like I said, it's all up to you on your kind of play style. But now that you've picked whatever location, let's get into how to find the salvage and what to look for. Okay, now that we've picked a location to do our salvage, we're going to go ahead and activate our scanner by pressing the V key. Now that our scanner is activated, we're going to send out a ping by using the tab. We've got all these results around here. Now we want to figure out how to use the field of view. So if you scroll the mouse wheel, it goes back and forth. So a field of view on the left is 360. Zoom in, it goes lower, send out a ping at 360, it's going to scan everything that's around the ship in a full like 360 degree. And we zoom in, we're at 5 degrees, it's going to scan a small sort of 5 degree cone in front of us. Uh, this will become useful later on uh, when you have to scan some of these ping results that are coming up now. Now you'll notice these icons here, these scrap icons, are appearing before we'd even scan the area. It's like one over there. We get back to it. Uh, I think there's another one somewhere. Yeah, there's one up there. Right now, these are large ships like your Crusader or your Crusader Hercules or your 890 Jump. So we can get our cursor on it, and we'll hold the left mouse button to scan it. There we go. We're scanning, and there we go. Crusader Hercules Starlifter. Right now, let's go ahead and send the ping out. We have some results here. I'm going to zoom in. Mass of 10,000. That's probably scrap. And we've got a mass of 17,000. That's going to be an asteroid. If we zoom back out, we're detecting the Hercules again. This is why you want to use the field of view and not leave it at 360 all the time because sometimes it blocks it. So we zoom right in. We have an asteroid again, which is 1700. And we go back over to the here. We zoom right in. And if we, zoom, if we zoom right in and we send a ping, we should get, there we go, the little squares or diamond shapes. 
showing you all the up. So if we go over there, you'll see this will be five um, pieces of scrap wreckage that you can salvage. Each one of these shows up. Each one of these chunks is 2,000 on the RS on the left. So you can usually tell how many is in a, a ping result here. So because we had 10,000, it should be five pieces. Yeah, it's divided by, you can divide it by 2,000. That's how you can tell the one on the right was an asteroid because it was 1,700. That can't be divided by 2,000. So a lot of times when you're going around scanning all these pings, you can tell what they are uh, before, since you put like your cursor over them. So we'll do a little testing here. Asteroid. Asteroid. 2,000. Uh, that should be two chunks of salvage. No, one chunk, sorry. 2,000. Yep, there we go. One chunk of salvage. Yeah, we scanned it. There it is. Reclaimer. Hmm. There we go. Asteroid. Uh, that'll be asteroids because it's not divided by 2,000. Probably like one or two rocks. Yeah, 34. So if there's 34, it'll be two rocks. Right, that's going to be a big ship. Uh, you got IR, CR, sorry, IRCS, and whatever. Uh, they're, they're like uh, soft stated ships. So if you like, if it was like a small ship, like a, let's see, we go a big one, because it's got a high number on the, the little stats there. If it was a small ship like a Titan, it'd be like 3,000, 2,000, 1,000 roughly. Yeah, asteroid, asteroid. Uh, salvage. Yeah, it should be four chunks of uh, salvage. Yep. Okay, now that we know how to find them, let's go ahead and talk about the differences between the modules. So now we have a comparison between the two scraping modules. We have the cinch on top and the braid on the bottom. Uh, we're salvaging the same chunk of salvage to make it a sort of fair comparison. It's the same, it should be the same amount of material and it should be the same square footage. Uh, we're mining till we hit about 8% of hull um, because you'll see once we get past 8%, it becomes really. Uh, hard to get any more material after that, like the 8-7% to 7 takes a lot longer. And basically it's just a test to show how quickly and how much material we're going to get when we hit 8%. So we're seeing if one, one module is faster than the other, or if one module gives you more material. Uh, because they do have stats on the left which says they are different, other than the, the cone that you mine the square footage that you mine at one time, I say minus scrape. Uh, as you can see, we've hit the end here. Uh, we still have a little bit of chunk on the bottom here that we haven't got, but time-wise, we're about, what, six seconds between them. Not a huge difference, and material-wise, 0 0.8, 0 0.79, so it's about the same amount of material. Um, for the next part from 8 to 7%, I'm playing it at real time. And we're going to show how, much, how longer, how much more time it takes to get the cinch rather than the braid. So the braid is done, hit 7%. And the cinch is going to take a good six times longer because the area that you're mining is so much smaller than the braid. You could have skipped stuff on the first pass. So now you've got to go over bits you've already mined. And because you have that such small area, trying to get bits off the edge, it's just more fiddly. So as I said, I wouldn't really go past 9% in salvaging because once you get past 9% it just becomes really tedious. And we're almost done. And done. So overall when we hit 8% there wasn't a huge amount of time difference. The material was the same, even the material now. We're both at 0 0.83, 0 0.84. Same amount of material. Um, yeah, so I, I would recommend using their braid 
I don't really see a point using the cinch. It just it just becomes more fiddly once you get below 10%. Now we have a little comparison here of one of the chunks of salvage and one of the A90 jumps. Um, basically, the chunks is the stuff you want to mine, in my opinion. Because the material that you have to mine is a lot thicker. It's like, I don't know what the lore is, if it's like military grade armor or whatnot. But the amount of the area that you have to mine is so much less than, say, an 890 jump. I mean, to start off with, the chunk starts at 100% a hull compared to like um, a ship, whereas, like, I think you started like 80% a hull on this, this chunk of um, 890 jump. I'm not sure, I can't remember now. But once we get to the end here, um, you'll see that we have to mine almost 2.5 more square footage of material to get one full box than compared to the chunk up above. I'll kind of like edit it and overlap it, you'll see. Uh, it's why I personally think these chunks are the best thing you want to go for. I don't think you want to mess around with ships whatsoever. I'll give you a couple more reasons why I don't think you should touch the ships, but we'll get into that. Cause I think just finding one of the a chunk of like five of these pieces is probably the equivalent of a, like an 890 jump and we're done mining on the 890 jump down there. I say mining, salvaging, scraping rather. And there we go, we're pretty much done. It took a little bit longer to do that. As you can see is it's such a lutch, it's such a larger area that you have to scrape compared to the chunk at the top. Anyway, so another reason why I don't think you do ships is not every piece of the ship is uh, scrapable. So you've been going along scraping and then suddenly, oh, I've hit a bit that I can't scrape. And then, you know, it's just, it's really kind of tedious and annoying when you just hit bits that you can't scrape. Then you go, go round, get the right angle. You go, go round the ship to that angle, then round the ship to that angle. You can go, Whereas those chunks are such small areas, you don't really have to move your ship around. There's no faffing around with it. And if we like even small ships here, they're so, I just, I would not touch a small ship. I just would not recommend it. There's so many different pieces here. You can see the hulls keeps like whatever one's highlighting, it shows you how much is left on it. And there's so many pieces that are not mineable. It's just really kind of fiddly and annoying and you're not going to get a lot of material. It's the amount of material you get for your time is just not worth touching any of the little ships. So what we have here are the three salvage chunks, small, medium and large. Uh, under that is the amount of material to, if you were to salvage it to 0% hull and the amount of time it takes to get to that 0%. Obviously the medium one is a bit tricky from that 9 to 0%, takes a little longer. I think it took like an extra two minutes just to get that last little bit because it's really fiddly, that chunk for some reason. But basically, this is why I think you should mine the large chunks over any other type of salvage. Salvaging one large chunk and then maybe half of an hour large chunk and you're full in almost no time at all. Now this 890 jump, um, I decided to try and see how long it would take to get an 890 jump down to 0% hull. We couldn't actually get it to 0% hull. As you can see it before and after we have here, the, the percentage of hull before and after we salvaged it. Um, for some reason, the, the two medium chunks in the middle, we couldn't get to anywhere below 20% and we were having a hard time actually finding the salvage to salvage. Um, I don't know if like, it's counting inside the ship or something, I don't know, uh, but it basically took five and a half hours and we got the um, 76 boxes and I say we because I did have help from Pissport Pete, uh, who's a Twitch streamer, check his link in the description. And basically when we were finished, I just doubled the time. So if you were soloing it, that's how much time it would take, five and a half hours to get 76 boxes from 890 Jump. Doesn't include traveling to sell the boxes because we literally just dumped them at the back of the ship. It was just literally salvage, move the boxes from the dispenser into the cargo. Uh, that's how long it took. Now the video that's also playing right now is I just wanted to see how long it'd take to do a full run from New Babbage to the location, find it, the salvage, salvage it and fly back and sell it uh, and it basically took 30 minutes pretty much dead on so um, obviously if you weren't soloing it and you had a, 
a friend in a cargo ship that you could move that material into, it'd be a lot better. Uh, ideally, you'd have two vultures and one person in a cargo ship would probably be the most ideal option. Um, I guess you could, I did think about this, hiding a cargo ship on the, like way out on the edge of like the asteroid area and just going back and forth between that. Um, I might try that, I don't know if it'll work. Hopefully in the future with the cargo expansion um, rework, they will allow you to store your material in the station. So you could just go back to the station, store it, and then later on take that stuff in a cargo ship to the planet to actually sell, rather than have to go back and forth every time your ship's full. That'd be really good. I also sh should probably add all the space locations have the salvage. Not all space locations have A90 jumps or Hercules or Titans or Ares. They kind of, you get like two ships per location. So one Lagrange point might only have A90s and Titans. Another one might have Hercules and Ions or one location might just have Ions and Titans. So this is another reason why I think the salvage is better than ships because it is everywhere bar obviously on planets. Uh, but I hope I didn't ramble so much that it didn't make sense basically go for the large salvage chunks, don't touch small ships, big ships you can mine but you're still probably better going for the large chunks, I keep saying mining when it's actually salvaging, I apologise for that, I know I did that quite a bit in the video. And of course in regards to salvaging big ships, now we do have one exception and that is the Idris. That ship I would mine, I think the Idris is like top tier salvage material, um, obviously we have the Xenofret going here, so I got a chance to mine some Idrises. Didn't get to mine a Javelin, unfortunately. Um, Root for Xeno to win, but they never killed a Javelin. Just waiting to see the speed that one SCU box fills up in. Now, obviously this is super risky. You're going to get blown up by um, Xeno maybe, or other players. But it's like four or five Idrises spawn during this event. Also, you could probably get the Idris from the... Miles Echo, Miles Echo, Echo Heart mission, and um, also critical threats so you can get addresses. It's just a bit trickier to get an address to mine, but look how quickly this fills up one SCU. Now we are sped up by like 0.25% here, but that, that's you, full. It's just crazy. Okay guys, and that is the end of the video, so go ahead and hit that thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, the bell, all that lovely uh, stuff you're supposed to do at the end of videos. Um, hopefully you find this information useful uh, it, and it will help you find the best salvage that you like to do. It's kind of all based on your own sort of style, I guess. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out.